Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be painting this cute little shop using watercolor pencil for the first time. These watercolor pencil are sent to me by Stationery Pal for their back to school event. So we are also going to be going through some stationery haul today. At the first glance, I gotta be honest, their packaging is super cute. I thought I was just gonna receive a plain brown cardboard box, but this is really nice. So when I first opened the box, there's kind of like a subtle, nice smell like perfume coming out of this box and my cat is super interested in this. So even though this is a stationery company, I still decided to pick out quite a bit of art product just because I want to do some art in this video. So I was a little bit surprised when they sent me some extra stuff like for example this little phone uh, holder cat thingy which is super cute and they also have that little bear at the top right and a rubber ducky so the first art supply i get is this drawing brush pen it's like a fine liner you can use them for a lot of things but personally i mostly use them for adding some details on my watercolor paintings or you know, doing some line art before I put down the watercolor. If you're interested in seeing some of that mixed media type of work, let me know in the comments below. This is the same brand of fine liner, but with size 0.03. Next we have a Muji black gel pen. I personally really like Muji because the way the ink feel. I don't use them for painting, but hey, it's a stationary haul, right? This is just another regular pen for writing. I just picked this one because I like how slick it looks. This is the Micron 0.03 pen that most of you probably are familiar with. It's a fine liner and I usually use them for uh, mixed media, ink and watercolor paintings. This one is a mechanical pencil that you can use for sketching, writing in general. One thing I really like about this pen is that you can rotate the top part and an eraser will come out. Besides pen, I also get some of these super cute sticky notes. It kind of makes me want to go back to school a little bit. I honestly can't believe how many cute things they have. I don't even know what I'm going to use this positivity pin for, but I absolutely love it. And here's my favorite stationery I got so far. A cat paw pencil sharpener. I put all of this stuff in the basket that also sent by stationery pal. Except for that little panda at the left corner over there. I got that one in Vietnam. Now to our main spotlight today. This is Sakura Watercolor Pencils 24 Color Set. It also comes with a watercolor synthetic brush and a pencil sharpener. But I'm definitely going to use my cat paw sharpener instead of this one. Along with that said, I also get two watercolor paper pad. One is cold press 200 GSM and the other one is hot press 300 GSM. So what I always like to do first whenever I receive a new set of paint or colors is watching every color down on a little piece of paper. So I can get a feel of the consistency and also see how the colors actually show up on the paper. Here you can see that I'm doing two rows of the same color. That is because I'm going back in and use the watercolor brush to smooth out the second row. With watercolor pencil, you can use them as you know a regular color pencil, or you can go over them with a clean brush and it will become watercolor. 
I noticed that even after I add the water, the color are still really vibrant. I was expecting them to be thin out and get a lot less saturated, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But again, this is my first time ever drawing watercolor pencil, so I don't really know them very well. I will try to experiment with them as much as I can, and hopefully in the future I can share some more tips and tricks with you. If any of you know more about watercolor pencil, leave a comment below on how you like to use them so we can all learn together. Here I draw this sketch with a pencil first, and then I go over them with the fine liner. And I also add the masking tapes on the edges. I probably don't need to add them until I start putting down some water, but it's really helped situating the paper in the middle, so I just do it at the very beginning. You can find all of these products that I use in this video on Stationery Pal. I will have all the links to them in the description below. If you use the links, I get a little bit of the commission from Stationery Pal with no extra cost to you. But of course, if you don't want to, you can also go straight to their website, which I also link below. They are having a huge back to school sale. A lot of the products are 50 to 70% off. And so far, I'm really happy with their service. The package arrived in a decent amount of time, and I really like all the products that I've seen so far. Right now, I'm using these pencils as a regular color pencil to cover everything with the base color that I want those things to be. After that, I just use a clean brush, wet it with some water, and go over these areas to smooth them out, making them look more like watercolor instead of color pencil. Then I'm going over with another layer of watercolor pencil again to make certain areas slightly darker. After that, I'm going back in with the brush again to smooth those areas that I just added in. For the details, instead of going in with the pencil first, I actually just use a wet brush and take some of the color out of the tip of the pencil and use that to paint straight into the paper.
After that, I'm using a white gel pen to go in and add some letter or some details that require pure white. Then I also go back in with the fine liner to add in a little bit more line at the top, making the leaf a little bit more defined. And we're done here. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please consider likes and subscribe, it really helped me out a lot. Again, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!